हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द फाइनल वीडियो ऑन चैप्टर टू कंप्यूटर साइंस फ्रॉम द एन बुक वी आर डूइंग बैक एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन सेवन क्वेश्चंस इन द पास्ट टू वीडियोस एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कंप्लीटिंग द एक्सरसाइज एंड विल स्टार्ट टूडे फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो दिस क्वेश्चन आस्क्स यू टू कन्वर्ट बाइनरी नंबर्स इन टू नंबर एज वेल एज हेक्सा नंबर so what is the procedure of converting a binary to an octal number we start grouping the binary digits into groups of 3 and if there is a non fractional part then we do the grouping from right to left and if there is a fractional part we do the grouping from left to right okay and in case of hexadecimal conversion binary to hexadecimal we do the same procedure but we group in groups of four okay so starting with the first part what we'll be doing we'll be creating groups of three groups of three and in case there is one or more digits left on the leftmost side we'll be adding zeros to it so as you can see we have created four groups and we have added two zeros in the group that is present on the leftmost side and now when you will be combining all these values you uh, combining as in you will be writing them in the octal decimal system that means convert each of these binary groups to their corresponding literal in the octal number system you will see that the first group from the right gives you 0 1 6 and 1 now you combine them and write them as the final answer in the octal octal number system which is 1610 now we have to do the hexadecimal conversion also for the same question so when we start grouping in groups of 4 we start from right to left and we create groups of 4 in this case we'll get only three groups and we'll be adding two zeros in the beginning in the group that is standing at the leftmost position so we'll be writing now the hexadecimal values for each of these binary groups and then we'll be writing these values together as a single hexadecimal number okay so please be careful with the base values that you mention and be careful what the question is asking you to do coming to the second part in the second part also we'll be first doing the octal conversion so the first part that we are doing is the octal conversion and the second part the bottom one is for the hexadecimal conversion so grouping in uh, groups of 3 we get three groups of 101 110 and 110 no extra uh, addition of zeros required here when we write the corresponding octal digits we get the final answer as 665 now when we create groups of 4 we get three groups again and we need to add three zeros in the beginning because the three groups would be 0101 to the rightmost end then 1011 and then 0001 when you write the corresponding hexadecimal values you must take care that since this four digit binary group corresponds to the value 11 you have to write the corresponding hexadecimal alphabet or literal for it which is b so the answer is 1b5 coming to the third part of question number 8 you do the same procedure create groups of 3 assign the octa decim oct sorry octal digits for each of these groups and then you combine these digits together write them together and you get the final answer in the second part of this uh, uh, third question matlab uh, in the second uh, part you have to convert it into the hexadecimal number system and you create groups of four starting from right to left you create groups of four you append a zero at the beginning and you get two groups and finally the answer is 54 in hexadecimal coming to the last part please be careful of the decimal system or the point that is present here it is it won't be right to say the decimal point because it is not the decimal number system it would be a binary point in this case so please 
be careful of the point that is present here and do not forget to write it in the final answer. So what you will be doing in this case when you are converting binary to octal you will first create two sets of this number to the right of the point to the left of the point. So when dealing with to the right of the point you will be starting your uh, grouping from left to right. So you create a group of three then what do you do? You append two zeros at the end. So these are the two extra zeros that we have appended. Now uh, coming to the left side of the point. Here you will have to start your grouping from right to left. So you uh, group, uh, you create two groups. One of them is 001 by uh, adding two zeros in the beginning and the other one is 010. So your final answer is 12.5. 4, 4 in octal number system okay don't forget to write this particular point here now converting this particular number the binary number into hexadecimal what we will be doing you will be creating groups of four again you will have to deal with the uh, separately to the right and to the left of the point so when you are dealing to the right side of the point you will be creating one group and to the left side of the point, you will be creating another group. Luckily, no extra addition of zeros is required. So, you require only two digits. This value is 10. So, you need to write the alphabet capital A corresponding to it. And the final answer is 8.9 in hexadecimal. Coming to question number 9. The question asks you to write the binary equivalent of the following octal numbers. So it is very easy for each digit present in the octal number. You have to write the three digit binary representation. Okay. Since it is octal, 2 raised to power 3 is 8. That is why we write groups of 3. Okay. So coming to the first part, 2306. For each digit, you will be writing a group of three binary equivalent digits or a group of three binary digits that is the equivalent of the corresponding octal digit and then you'll be grouping or you'll be writing all these groups of binary digits together to create one final answer okay coming to the second part 5610 5 is 101 in binary 6 is 110 1 is 001 and 0 is 000 so when we write them together, 101, 110, 001 and 000 in the binary number system. The third part says 742 is to be converted to a binary. Now 742, 7 is represented by 111, 4 by 100 and 2 by 010. So writing them together gives you this particular value. Double one, double one, double zero, zero one zero. Okay. Now the last part again, a fractional number. Now you'll be dealing the same way uh, as you have done with the non-fractional part. You'll have to write the binary equivalent of all the digits, irrespective where they are lying with the the uh, with the respect to the point here. Okay. So whether it is a digit to the right of the point or it's a digit to the left of the point, you will have to write the corresponding binary representation, which will be a three a group of three digits in the binary system. Okay. So when you write each of these representation, you club them together, you do not forget the point and you write them together as a single answer. Okay. Coming to the last calculation question, which is question number 10. Now you have to write the uh, hexadecimal conversion of these uh, num you have to convert these hexadecimal numbers into binary representation. So the uh, procedure would remain the same. You have to write the corresponding binary representation which will be a group of four for each hexadecimal digit. In octal it was a group of three. In hexadecimal it's always a group of four. So for the first part 4026 you write the corresponding uh, group of four binary digits for each digit you write them together and that will give you the answer similarly 
second part B C A one. Now B is represented as one zero one one. C is represented as one one double zero, and A, which is ten, is represented at one zero one zero. And how you'll check that? To what is the correct representation? C A is ten. Now in binary, this is place value two raised to power zero. This is two raised to power one. This is two raised to power two, and this is two raised to power three. So basically, this is zero. Sorry, this is one. This is two. This is four, and this is eight. So eight, there is a one at position eight, and there is a one at position two. So eight plus two gives you ten. Similarly, C is twelve. So you need eight plus four. So one at position of eight and one at position of four. B is eleven. So you need eight plus three. Three is again two plus one, so you need a one, you need a two, and you need an eight. So that is why you put a one here at each of these positions. So that is how you'll be converting each digit of the hexadecimal number system into the binary number system. Coming to the third part, again easy one. You write the hexadecimal representation, combine it, and you get the answer. Okay. In case you have any doubts, please feel free to mention us in the comment section below. We'll be very happy to help you and solve your doubts. Okay. The last part again, you have to do the same process, but you have to be very careful of the point. You have to convert each digit to its binary representation and remember where the point lies. And in the final answer, also you have to keep uh you have to keep the Point and combine all these representations together. So, coming to the last set of questions from this chapter, the three main remaining questions are uh, question eleven, twelve, and thirteen, and uh, I'll be quickly going through them. So, question eleven says, "How does computer understand the following text?" So, we have studied this previously also that. Uh, Uh, ASCII code, which is American Standard Code for Information Interchange, is used for uh, this purpose. And what you have to basically do in this question for each, there is a table given in your chapter uh, in the section that explains the ASCII code. So refer to that table, and for each character that is present in each of these parts, refer to the code that is specified. There, okay, and then you'll get uh, a you know a seven bit code, ASCII code for um for each of these uh, parts, and you can easily convert this particular uh, question into you will easily get the solution to these questions. So basically, what you have to do for each part, suppose this is case, okay. Uh, for each alphabet, you have to refer to the ASCII code of that alphabet. Okay, and for each ASCII code, you will be converting. If the ASCII code is say sixty-five, in case of A, the code would be sixty-five. That would again vary if it's a capital let capital A or a small case A. So whatever the code is, then convert sixty-five to the Binary digits. Why you have to convert it into the binary digit? Because computer only understands binary numbers. So for each letter, uh, convert its corresponding ASCII code to binary number. Get the binary code for each of these uh, characters and club them together as we have just done to get your final answer. So it is nothing like that. You just have to refer to the ASCII table. That is given in your chapter. Most, most probably, most likely, you won't be getting such questions in any of your exams because they refer to the tables, and uh, there are much more important questions that we have already discussed that are going to be asked from this chapter. Okay, so question twelve: the hexadecimal number system uses sixteen literals. Write down its base value. It's very simple. The number of literals equals to the base value, so the uh, base value is sixteen. Okay. Question thirteen. Let X be a number system having b symbols only. Write down the base value. Just as I said, 
the number of symbols is equal to the base value. So the base value of number system X is B. Okay. So that's all for this chapter. We'll be covering chapter 3 which is a very interesting chapter. It keeps you updated with the current trends and technologies, the emerging trends. We'll be talking about machine learning, natural language processing, cloud computing, and a lot of interesting topics are going to be covered in chapter three in very brief, in a way that you'll be understanding them, you'll be finding it interesting. So stay tuned to this series. Let us know how you're finding us our lectures and uh, also tell us what particular topics you would like to see not only from class 11th in any field of computer science we would be very glad to help you so stay tuned to this lecture series till we meet in the next video mind your exam thank you for watching good luck